Here we have the shredder machine. And you can turn it on by using this little switch. And you can make it turn both ways. So if plastic gets stuck or something like that, you can turn it the other way around. And the plastic waste goes into the hopper and then it will be shredded. So let's shred some plastic. The output of the shredder is still pretty big. And that's why you can also add a mesh underneath. And the size of the mesh determines the output. Connect this one under here with a few screws and then uh, we'll show you the difference. As you can see, there's a big difference between shredded plastic without a mesh and with the mesh. Do note that the smaller you want your plastic to be, the more energy and the longer it takes. You can play around with this, like sorting out different colors or going really small or get bigger flakes. You can adapt it to what machine. And basically this machine chops your plastic waste into small flakes. You can determine the size of these flakes by the mesh inside, so you can make them bigger or smaller. And these flakes are used in the machines to create new things. Here we have the extrusion machine. And it has a very specific output, like this cable that comes out. But you can use this to create 3D printer filament or new raw material, which makes it very interesting. It's a continuous process, which means you can put the plastic in and it just keeps on going. The downside is mixed colors in here. It melts very well and it mixes together, so you have one new solid color coming out. That's a smooth line of plastic. Temperatures of the plastic. Then we're going to talk about mold making, how to make your own molds and where to look out for. And then we're going to create objects from plastic waste. You can tell when it's done when you can't press anymore, then it should be good. Or separating them, you can also make them solid black or blue or create this marbled like textures.